this with the sun, the cold, and the way you are. The things you said had me going good, but it left a scar. You invite me, and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up, and then you're gone. I All right, guys, welcome back to another Sunday meal prep. Hopefully, today is going to be a good one. It's going to be a little bit different because I have to work today. So, I'm actually getting ready to leave right now. Charlie is going to, of course, do his normal prep, and then he is going to prepare one of the meals for the day. So for our two meals this week, we are going to do chicken skewers. It's basically just some dull tropical fruit, which is like pineapple, I think, and papaya. Uh, and he's going to dice up some chicken. We're going to make 12 skewers. That way we each get two per night. And then some baked sweet potatoes and some corn on the cob. So that's going to be one of the meals. And Charlie is going to go ahead and prepare that meal while I am going to work today. The other meal we're going to do, which is like an old meal that I've cooked for years and years and years, which is basically just um, seasoning up some diced up chicken, cooking it on a skillet, uh, cooking up some bell peppers, and making some quinoa in the rice cooker. That one should be pretty easy. I'm going to make that after I get home tonight, so that's going to be our second meal. Charlie, of course, will have everything prepped for that to where all I have to do is throw it together. So I'm fixing to head to work. And if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. We meal prep like this every week. So we go ahead and prepare all six of our meals for Sunday night through Friday night. Saturday is kind of my free for all whenever I eat whatever I want to. Um, but yeah, if that is something that you are interested in and you haven't yet subscribed, please click that red subscribe button down below. It really helps out my channel. And give this video a like if you like it. Also, follow me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here on the screen as well and then also we have a really great Facebook group it is called finding our way this is the icon to that group would love it if you would join that and there's lots of great people over there that post all the time and give great tips and tricks and then if you need to ask me or Roy or Bree who also co-admin that we will um, also be available on that page as well so without further ado let's just roll into the video Alrighty, it is time for Charlie to start on his prep. This is everything that he has to prep today. So we just have a tomato to slice for my uh, sandwiches. And then we have a bunch of bell peppers, four bell peppers, probably two greens, a yellow and a red will be used for my breakfast. And then the other six will be used for the chicken quinoa and peppers that I like to make. So he will slice these up. He will dice these up. I've kind of got them separated here for him now. On the chicken, he's going to dice up the chicken for the chicken quinoa and peppers and just kind of set that to the side. When I get home from work, then I will cook that. He'll put it, he'll just put it in the refrigerator. For the um, skewers, he's just going to cut those up. The goal is to make 12 skewers. Uh, that way we get two each each night. And then he will, of course, just chop up my pineapple and my cantaloupe as normal. And then we have a six ears of corn here. Um, he did not get the sweet potatoes out. Charlie, you didn't get your sweet potatoes out. Um, we also have six ears of corn here for one of our meals. Charlie's going to shut the corn, carefully clean all of the silks off of it, right? To where there's none on there. <laughs> and he will just boil this in a pot. Now, one thing, Charlie, listen to me. I like to put it in like that big metal bowl with the lid and put some spray butter in there and salt and pepper it and kind of shake it around in there and just kind of let it set like that. Once I get it out, it gives it a really good flavor. Then they already have like salt and pepper and butter on the corn. Okay, so you can do that like once you take it off. I just use one of those metal bowls with the lid. Okay, so y'all heard me give him his instructions. We'll see if he does it correctly. <laughs> and then we have a six sweet potatoes here. He is just going to bake those in the microwave and then they will be ready. So Charlie's going to prepare that meal. And um, this is all of his prep. Everything else I will do once I get back home from work. So we will roll into his prep now.
guys. Uh, got them cooking on the grill. Okay, guys, here's our finished meal. There's our uh, chicken kebabs. A few extra vegetable kebabs here. Get a few extras. It's the uh, corn on the cob and the cooked sweet potatoes. Just got to uh, get them in the refrigerator and um, just got to heat them up and uh, they'll be uh, good to go. Alrighty, I am back home now. I threw together my fruit bowls just to get those out of the way real quick. So I have my seven containers of fruit, yogurt. Um, of course, y'all saw Charlie slice up my tomato. And then here are my diced peppers for the week, looking delicious. Um, I will use the majority of these to make my scrambled eggs and then have them to make pizzas with later on in the week. And so, yeah, I'm going to put this away and then we're going to get started on the chicken, quinoa, and peppers. Alrighty, I am ready to start on the chicken, quinoa, and peppers. Here's my chicken that Charlie diced up earlier for me. I'm just going to season it up with salt and pepper, of course, some Italian seasoning, some oregano. I'm going to use some of this adobo seasoning and then some of this complete seasoning from Badia. Uh, I have not tried this one yet, but... Um, we'll just see how all of that turns out. I just want the si chicken season good. I think Charlie used like the garlic chicken seasoning and the kicking chicken or something whenever he made the chicken skewers because it was setting out whenever I got home. So I want to kind of have a different flavor on this chicken. And so I'm going to kind of go a little bit more on the Italian side, I guess. Uh, he's already chopped up these peppers. They've just been sitting in the fridge waiting on me to get home to cook them. I have one and a half cups of quinoa measured out here. This is the one that I always like to use. It's already rinsed and washed and all of that ready to go. I will put it in the rice cooker. I'm just going to use one can of chicken broth and then the rest water in there but the chicken broth will give the quinoa a good flavor so if you think quinoa is kind of plain add some chicken broth to it or chicken bouillon cubes or you know whatever you want to something along those lines and it will give it a great flavor so let's throw this together real quick because yeah I know it's late and I've been working all day so ready to get this meal done okay so I'm gonna put my quinoa in here I'm just gonna spray it with my olive oil baking spray and then I have my one and a half cups of quinoa okay and then we need three cups of liquid to go in there with the one and a half cups of quinoa so I'm going to use one can of chicken broth and then just the rest in water so this is about like one and three fourths cups or so so I'm just going to top this off and then we're going to do one additional cup of water this is a two cup measuring cup so there's two cups of liquid and one additional cup that's all there is to it. I'll just do one quick little stir. Not really necessary though. And we are going to cook it. I'm gonna turn it so that the steam does not hit my cabinets. And we're gonna get the chicken and the peppers going. Okay, so we are ready to start on the chicken and peppers. I'm gonna put the peppers in first. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray both in my pans. Get that out of the way. And we're just gonna put our beautiful bell peppers in. Yeah, now I love me some bell peppers. And we're just going to salt and pepper these and put the lid on them. I want them to soften up. Again, not too soft to where they're mushy, but soft enough to where they're not crunchy. Once they kind of warm up, then I will just turn it down and let them cook on low while I'm cooking the chicken. But these usually take a little bit longer than the chicken. Give them a quick little stir here and we're going to pop the lid on. And now let's work on the chicken. So I put salt and pepper on one side of my chicken and put it in and then salt and pepper the other side. This is such an easy meal to make, FYI, and it's really healthy, I think, with the quinoa, the peppers, the chicken breast, and then you can just season it up any way you want to. We used to always do it like just with Italian seasoning and oregano and stuff like that, but just to mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this adobo all-purpose seasoning on there. You do not have to, you can season any way you like. Trust me, it will taste good with the peppers and the quinoa. And then I'm going to use some of this uh, complete saison seasoning. I don't know how you say that. Haven't used it yet, so we'll see if we like this uh, combination. And then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Well, I have to take the lid off this thing. The little holes on this one for the Italian seasoning is way too small. And then we'll go in with some oregano as well. They're going to be like an Italian herb chicken. 
So I will be back once the chicken is pretty much cooked through. This is really all that there is to this meal. I mean, other than cooking it and softening up the peppers and stuff. But we will check back in here in a few minutes and see how we're doing. Okay, just a quick update. Peppers are looking good. I'm actually going to turn them down now and kind of take the lid off. Um, chicken's looking good as well. I do want to cook it until it is kind of turning brown and crispy on the outside. So right now it's probably just about done. There's just a few pieces that don't look done, but we are getting close. So I'm going to finish this up and then we will be ready to plate it up. All right, so I finally have the quinoa ready. I got the chicken and the peppers done and had to kind of wait on the quinoa. So we just got it out, but it is looking pretty good. So I'm going to measure out a cup of quinoa per um, serving. So just like that, hopefully this will work out perfectly to where there are exactly six cups and then we're just going to top with some chicken and peppers so let me get this measured out okay so got the quinoa measured out perfectly my battery's fixing to die let me change that real quick and then we will put the chicken and the peppers in okay got a quick battery change so we are just going to divide the chicken as evenly as i can and then we will also put the peppers just right on top. It makes a perfect little bowl to heat up. I think this quinoa comes out to be five points per serving. And then the chicken and the peppers are zero points for me. And I'm just basing that quinoa measurement on the one and a half cups of dry that I made. And then, of course, I just divided it out. A fourth cup of quinoa makes a cup of... A fourth of a cup dry makes a cup cooked. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that worked out perfectly. Okay, so now all I have to do is divide the peppers. They look perfect. So that's about what one bowl is going to look like. I'm going to finish them up and then I'll show you the finished product. Alrighty, here are the completed bowls of the chicken, quinoa, and peppers. Looking and smelling delicious. Super excited about this meal. This is an oldie but a goodie. And um, such a low point meal. And I think it's very healthy for you, again, with the quinoa, peppers, and chicken. So that's pretty much going to wrap up everything for the day. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another Sunday meal prep. I know this was probably another quick one, but I had to get it done however I could since I had to go to work today. Um, I'm almost finished with my laundry for the day. I'm on my third load of laundry. Got some work done today, worked a few hours, and we got the meal prep done. Charlie helped out by cooking one of the meals, so I hope that y'all enjoyed that. So looking forward to our chicken skewers, our potatoes, and our corn, and then of course this meal that I just finished up. Um, I'm still prepping my breakfast, but I'm going to go ahead and close this out because it is late and I just need to get that done and I never film it anyway. So again, thank you to everybody that makes it all the way to the end. I love you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.